Look, I know this video is gonna be late, you know this video is gonna be late, but please indulge me for just one last opportunity to be a little bit spooky. Hey, internet. It is time once again for my monthly obsessions. Okay, so the very first thing that I was obsessed with kind of earlier in the month is the song Thinking About by Lauren Aquilina. I believe that's how you say her name. I first heard about her when Dodie Clark covered one of her songs and I'm really late to the party here. The song Thinking About I listened to at Dodie's recommendation and it just gets in my head and I really like it and it's just really well done, so go check that out. Also on YouTube, somebody that I've been watching a lot lately is Rosianna Hals Rojas. She also goes as Paper Time Lady. You might have heard of her because she works very closely with John Green, but she also does her own videos. And Rosianna is just really cool. I really am so just enamored in the way that she talks and it's not just because she has a British accent. <laughs> the content that she makes is so incredibly thoughtful but it's also very poetic. The way that she speaks in her videos just has this quality that is entrancing but also it makes you think and it makes you feel and I love the way that she strings words together. She recently did a video where she was going to be cooking a recipe from the same book for an entire month and she ended up feeling like it more chronicled her mental health than her cooking and I just really really enjoyed that video it was I believe somewhere in the vicinity of a half hour long but it was just really interesting to hear her thoughts on how her food habits reflected her thought habits and her ups and downs with mental health but just in general, I've never seen a video of hers that I didn't feel like was so incredibly well thought out and so well spoken. So if you are not already watching her, go over to youtube.com slash Rosiana and check her out. Another thing that I have just recently watched is Black Mirror season three. Black Mirror is a TV show that is on Netflix and it centers around technology and what happens if technology is basically taken that one step further. It kind of has a sort of thriller feel it's directed and shot in a way that kind of is very tense and charged. The interesting thing about the series is that each episode stands alone and is in its own universe, its own reality, based on some exaggerated part of technology where some something went wrong. I don't want to give too much of it away, but if you haven't ever watched the series, you really should go check it out. And I just really like talking about it, so if you have seen it and you have a favorite episode or something, let me know down in the comments, but don't spoil anything. So if you want to actually talk about the episodes, talk to me somewhere else. <laughs> podcast wise, I listened to this great episode of the podcast Gastropod. Gastropod, as it sounds, is a podcast about food and eating and all of those things. The particular episode that I watched was about caffeine and it started by asking about different levels of caffeine in different types of beverages, but it ended up being this really fascinating journey talking about the history of caffeine usage in mammals and particularly humans and the effects of it as a drug because it's like the most widely used drug. I listened to this like a week into not drinking coffee this month and a lot of what they were saying were good things about caffeine and so I'm sitting there listening to this podcast thinking, oh my god, <laughs> why, why did I decide to do no coffee this month, but we'll get to that later. I haven't listened to a whole lot of podcasts from Gastropod and that's just because I haven't had the time, but I would highly recommend at least listening to the caffeine episode and there are definitely several more that will probably make you think and tell you some things that you didn't know about the thing that you do all of the time. In addition to Gastropod, Matt and Maddie from the YouTube channel that I talk about all of the time because I absolutely love it, they have started a podcast and I think they're on their third, maybe fourth, I think third episode and it's just like an extended version of their YouTube show where they just talk for like an hour and because I love the two of them, I love the podcast, so if you like their videos, I recommend the podcast. As I said in my stream of consciousness video, which was probably my last video, I have been obsessed with the trees changing color. And this seems like a thing, like it happens every year, why would you be obsessed with it? I don't know why in particular this year it has hit me, but every time I go down the road and I see the trees, it's just like 
this is the most beautiful thing and I love this color scheme and just everything is a different shade of color and it's beautiful. I love the fall this year evidently which has never happened before. And finally this month because I went through so much with the challenge that I did this month I've been thinking a lot and I've been obsessed with thinking about why I challenge myself. It seems like it's just that I find it interesting to test my willpower to see what I can and can't do and it's been interesting to do that sort of metacognition <laughs> to think about what I can convince myself to do and when are challenges more difficult for me and I've determined that I'm very good at restricting but I'm not so good at adding things. So that's been an interesting process and when I think about doing another challenge, I'm gonna be able to keep that in mind. Okay, so I think that's the end of my obsessions for this month, so we'll move on to the life update part of the video. This month has been crazy, just absolutely crazy. I've been so busy doing things with work and then with school and then just in general with my life and family and things and I've been all over the place. This is probably obvious by my lack of videos and I realize now that I have several video projects that I have started and not finished and the most recent one being my video from New York City. So hopefully I will get a chance to breathe at some point and do that. I am prioritizing this video because I cannot break my streak of having obsessions videos every month. It's interesting because I've almost felt like I've been too busy to think about a whole lot of stuff other than the fact that I haven't been getting coffee. But it's good. I've been in the classroom. I got to teach a lesson the other day because the teacher was out and I'm gonna get to do that again on Thursday. So things are happening. That's what I'm gonna say. Things are happening and holy crap I can't believe that it's already November and I will be graduating in May. Now, I'm sure what you all have been wondering is, how did you do with this challenge? How, how did it go? How did not drinking coffee and reducing your sugar intake go? So I'm happy to say that I successfully completed the coffee part of the challenge. The sugar part, I did pretty well on. And I'm gonna talk more about that in a video that I'm going to link. I took a video at the end of every week just kind of talking about how things went and how I was feeling. Okay, so that was October. Let me know if you've had any thoughts about things that I mentioned in this video. Also, let me know what you were obsessed with in October so I can know what to get obsessed with in November. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all later.